What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video and or a live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to help a viewer named Jay, who just recently, within the last hour, wrote me an email. Now these are the types of emails that I like to do a video on so you guys could let Jay know what to do. He's between shopping for a 2021 right now or waiting for the 2022. We're gonna go over his story real quick. We're gonna break it down into the most important things he needs out of his truck. And then we're gonna to try to help him make a decision. So once again, if you guys wanna give your opinion, you know what to do, comment below the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you involved in everything we do. So let's check out what Jay has to say. Jay says, wanted your opinion on the 2021 or 2022 Tundra. Looking to get a truck as we are doing more towing with a small trailer. Currently have a 2017 Yukon, which is great for the family and does the job well. However, I need more space for camping and something a bit easier to tow with. Not to mention, I would like to get rid of the Yukon before we have any major issues. We really like the tech and looks and more importantly, the rear seat room of the GMC AT4. However, the reliability is a major factor for me. The interior in tech is a factor for our family of four, including the dog. The rear seat layout in terms of under seat space and or storage is the worst on the 2021 Tundra comparatively. I have the opportunity to buy a 2021 TRD Pro with 16,000 miles on it for right around MSRP, which still seems crazy to me, but I get the market right now. My thoughts is to buy a 2021 and then trade up for the 2022, hopefully with a better interior and tech, which looks like it will, all without losing too much money six to eight months from now. 2022 TRD Pro with the hybrid would be my ideal truck. All right, so after reading Jay's story, I kind of broke it down into four categories, and it really comes down to what his ultimate needs are as far as which is more important, you know, storage for his family on the interior, towing, reliability, it all kind of comes down to that. He also didn't mention how much weight his trailer is, which is a big factor when determining if you should go TRD Pro or not, which we will talk about momentarily. So I broke it down into four categories for him. Towing, reliability, interior tech, under seat storage, okay? Those are the four main things he talked about in that. Now, first off, I wanna mention this. Money-wise, the smart thing to do would be to decide if you wanna go full in on a 2021 right now, this current generation, or wait for the 2022. I wouldn't recommend buying a 2021 right now, especially at the insane high prices, and then trading out into a 2022 a few months later because you're gonna be upside down. There's a very good chance the next generation Tundra, <clears throat> excuse me, is gonna have a dealer markup. So you might find yourself in a, a tough situation financially with that. You know, obviously I don't know, uh, you know, your money situation or anything like that, but just, you might wanna wait. The next generation Tundra is on its way if that's the route you choose to take. We also don't know much details about the next generation Tundra. We could pretty much safely say at this point the towing will probably be a lot better. There's gonna be more interior tech. Um, under seat storage, we hope that Mike Swears and the team was listening. We want standard under seat storage. But today, we're gonna go with what we know. And that's the current generation Tundra. One thing you mentioned, you like the AT4 from GMC, but you're more about reliability. Well, there's nothing really more reliable out there than the Toyota Tundra and the 5.7 liter iForce V8. So if reliability is your main thought process here, you may wanna go with that 2021 Tundra because obviously this engine is proven. It's been around a long time. It's nearly bulletproof. Um, we don't know officially what's coming in the next generation Tundra. We do know the rumors are no more V8. And even if there was a V8, it would probably be something different and new. But if reliability is your main thought process here, you definitely might wanna look at the 5.7 liter V8 in the current 2021. Number two, towing. Like I said, you didn't mention how much weight your trailer is, but I will tell you this just from talking to owners over the years. If you have a heavy trailer, uh, the TRD Pro is known to sag in the rear quite a bit. So you may have to put in some airbags in the back there to kind of even out the ride and not have too much rear sag. Now the TRD Pro uh, is rated at being able to tow 92 to 9,800 pounds. It's just because of that off-road suspension. If you get a little heavy, that may pull the back down quite a bit. So keep that in mind if you end up going TRD Pro. Um, 
know what it is as far as the weight of your trailer and how it will ride and everything like that. There's a lot of great options out there and a lot of great trims. Um, and that kind of brings me to my next point with interior tech. Now, like we said, the 2022 is probably going to be loaded with all this new interior tech, but it really depends on what you need for your family. The 2020 and up Tundras, they've really done a lot of, you know, small things here and there that actually work out. More USB ports in the front, um, Entune 3.0, Apple CarPlay, it's all an updated system now. And obviously all these trucks out there that aren't the Toyota Tundra in the half ton market have a lot more tech in them. We know that. Uh, but you know, if you get them into the luxury trims, kind of like the Platinum 1794, even the, the current generation TRD Pro, uh, there is a lot more stuff in there uh, than there was before. And I think the USB ports are a big deal to everyone because obviously you could just plug your phone right in. We, like we said, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything like that. And you know, if you're worried about your kids in the back seat wanting to play on their phones and they have to plug in somewhere, I mean, there still isn't USB ports in the back seat, but obviously you could run a wire from the front and I don't think it would interfere with anybody or anything. The next one is under seat storage, which the Crew Max Tundra, which is what you're looking at, does not have right now standard, but there is some good news with that. There's companies out there like ESP Accessories that make all these different types of under seat storage uh, for the rear seat in the Crew Max. And you know what? They're not that expensive and they're easy to install. I've done it myself on my old Platinum, so that is something to look into right there. Um, sparksparts.com. If you use the promo code tundra 34 it'll save you 5%. It comes with a nice diagram. You do have to cut into your floor a little bit, but the instructions weren't too bad and uh, it wasn't too painful to cut into the carpet and everything and some of the foam to get the thing to sit in and it was really reliable. And like I said, places like ESP have a few different options for your needs, so you may want to check that out. It really all comes down to your needs, Mr. J. Um, towing, reliability, interior tech, under seat storage. For me, in what you're doing with the towing and the reliability, I think the 2021 may be your answer. And you could always buy a 2021 now, have it for three, four years, and then go into the next gen when all the bugs are worked out and you could kind of go from there. Um, but I don't know if I would buy the 2021 now and jump right into a 2022 immediately. Or if after you've watched this video and you've pushed yourself, ah, I think I want that 2022 next gen, I would just wait because I think it'll be out uh, a lot sooner than we think. I'm thinking probably November this year and that's not too far away. So if you could hang on to your Yukon for a few more months and then you'll be able to jump right into that 2022 without losing too much money. But we really are gonna wanna know what your decision is when you make it. So Jay, make sure you comment below and let us know what you end up doing fans of the channel and viewers please make sure you go down in the comments below and help jay out what would you do here would you buy the current 2021 or would you wait for the next gen 2022 with the needs that he has been talking about please help him out let him know i'm curious to see what everyone says as well if you have a story like this or you're confused about something whether it be which truck to buy which trim to buy parts for your truck you know what to do email me tundradu 34 gmail.com and we'll make a video and see what the community thinks but until next time, have a great start to your weekend. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34gmail.com. Have a great day. Be safe and be well.